Who would come to the defense of a slut? Why would anyone bother? If we don't play by their rules, why should they care about our bodies or our lives? This is not hyperbole. In Manitoba this year, a judge refused to sentence a convicted rapist to a single day of jail time because his victim had worn a tank top and high heels and seemed inviting. This, this was after the rapist admitted in open court that he told his victim that his violation of her would only hurt for a little while. When two young Swedish women accused WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange of sexual assault, after they each voluntarily invited him home with them, blogger Robert Stacey McCain said, you buy your ticket, you take the ride. When an 11 year old girl was gang raped in Texas by 18 grown men, the New York Times found it relevant to report on how much makeup she was wearing. serial killer loose on Long Island and Pete police aren't doing fuck all about it because he's mostly killing sex workers. Yeah. The word slut is an act of violence, not just metaphorically. It gives permission to rape us and the person who wields us doesn't have to lift a finger. It sends a signal. This one is fair game. Have at her. No one will blame you. Which is why when a Toronto cop told a group of law students at York University that the best way to avoid getting raped was not to dress like a slut, the people of Toronto took to the streets. no matter what we wear, what we say, or what we do. And make no mistake about it, we can be called sluts for nearly any reason at all. If we're dancing, if we're drinking, if we have ever in our lives enjoyed sex, if our clothes aren't made of burlap, if we're, we're assumed to be sluts because before we do a single thing because we're exotic. If we're fat or disabled or otherwise considered undesirable, we're assumed to be sluts who'll fuck anyone who'll deign to want us. If we're queer boys, yeah! not fearing the feminine. If we're queer women, especially fem ones. Because we're, because we're obviously up for anything as opposed to actually attracted to actual women. If we're poor, we're gold diggers who'll use sex to get ahead. And God forbid any of us accuse someone of raping us. That's the fast track to sluthood because it's much easier to tell us what we did wrong to make someone commit a felony, violent crime against us than it is to deal with the actual felon. There's a word for all of this, and it's bullshit. <laughs> for it, and it is social license to operate. What that means is this. We know that a huge majority of rapes are perpetrated by a small minority of guys who do it again and again. You know why they're able to rape an average of six times each? Because they have social license to operate. In other words, because we let them. Because as a society, we say, oh, well, what did she expect would happen if she went back to his room? What did she expect would happen walking around by herself in that neighborhood? What did she expect would happen dressed like a slut? You know what I expect to happen when I'm dressed like a slut? People will want to get with me. <laughs> you know what I don't mean when I dress like a slut? That anyone I encounter can literally do anything at all they want to me. I know, it's shocking, because clearly you found me wearing my tits out like this gives every single one of you carte blanche to do anything whatever you might want to do with my body, and I'm very sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> I just want to point out how ridiculous it all sounds when you spell out the meaning of she was asking for it. 
because the rapists are not confused. Those tiny percentage of guys doing most of the raping, they've told researchers they know full well they don't have consent. It's the rest of us that seem confused. We're the ones who let them off with the little boys will be boys shrug and focus our venom yeah. on sluts instead, leaving those boys free to rape again and again and again. That means every time we blame a slut for her own violation, we're not only hurting her, we're creating a world with more rapists in it for all of us to live in. No more. Yeah! We are all, every single beautiful one of you, we are here to testify that this ends today. Yeah! Truly nothing, nothing you can do to make someone raping you your fault. It ends because calling other people sluts may make you feel safer, but it doesn't actually keep you safer. It ends because not one more of us will tolerate being violated and blamed for it. And it ends because all of this slut shaming does more than to us than just the violence of rape. As if that weren't enough. The violent threat of slut shaming also keeps us afraid of our bodies and our desires. Yeah. It makes us feel like we're wrong and dirty and bad and yes, very, very unsafe when all we want is to enjoy the incredible pleasure that our bodies are capable of. Yeah. And that theft of pleasure, that psychic mugging, that ongoing robbery of the gorgeous potential of our souls, that ends today too. Because the secret truth nobody wants you to know is using nearly any definition is that there's nothing wrong with being a slut. Hey. It is okay to like sex. Yeah. Sex can be awesome. Yeah. It can be life alteringly awesome, but even when it's not, it can be a damn good time. Yeah. Sexual pleasure is part of our life force. And as long as you're ensuring your partner's enthusiastic consent and acting on your own sexual desires, not on somebody else's expectations of you, there is not a damn thing wrong with it. Not if it's a hookup, not if you're queer, not if you like it kinky, not if your numbers too high. on your own terms, and you have an enthusiastic partner, please, I beg of you, just have a fucking awesome time. Yeah. Our lives are way too often full of struggle and pain. If you can do something with someone else that brings both of you pleasure and joy, you're increasing the amount of pleasure and joy in the world. Yeah. make you feel bad about that. They should really be thanking you. They should send you a thank you note. <laughs> Speaking of which, I want to send a thank you note of my own to those of you standing right here today under the banner of sluthood who don't identify with that word at all, but understand why we must come together to reject its power. There has been a lot of misunderstanding about the meaning of the slut walk, and none more egregious than those who claim our agenda is to encourage all women to be sluts. <laughs> Whatever that means, our mission could not be further than that. Our mission here today is to create a world in which all of us are free to make whatever sexual and sartorial choices we want to without shame, blame, or fear. in decidedly unslutty ways, and you know that there's nothing any of us can do to make someone rape us, Slut Walk is your walk too. stand with us today. Last summer, when I wrote a manifesto of sorts against slut shaming, I was told by a pearl-clutching blogger who happens to live in this fair city that more, if more than a few people followed my lead, we would destroy the economy and then society. <laughs> affirmation that my words and actions have power. <laughs> Those who support the status quo in which women live in fear and that fear makes us easy to control will do almost anything to shut us up, but every time they try, we must commit to getting louder. <laughs> So let's 
Let's practice. You're already doing it. Instead of distancing ourselves from those among us who are targeted as sluts, lest we get caught in the crossfire, let's stand together and say, if you use the word slut as a weapon against one of us, you're using it against all of us. Yeah. Yeah. If you shame one of us, you will receive shame from all of us. Yeah. If you rape one of us, you will have to answer to all of us. If you, anyone in this crowd who has ever been called a slut, I want you to stand up right now and say it with me. I am a slut. Let's hear it. I am a slut! If you love someone who's been called a slut, stand up now and say, I am a slut. I am a slut! If you ever been afraid of being called a, a slut, stand up now and say, I am a slut. I am a slut! If you've been blamed for violence that someone else did to you, stand up now and say, I am a slut. I am a slut! If you're here to demand a world in which what we do with our bodies is nobody's business and we can all live our lives and pursue our pleasures free of shame, blame, and fear, stand up now and say it with me, I am a slut!